So as you guys know, I'm all about American beef, all about South Dakota beef, but not just beef, also honey, because our honey makers, they're getting undercut by the foreign guys too. So if you see local honey, buy it. It's better and you're supporting Americans. Back in beautiful Nashville, it's always a good time when the uh, valet people see my prop sledgehammer from our Halloween costume in the trunk. But anyway, good to be back at Nashville and I will see you guys tomorrow morning on Varney. Well, happy Monday. I will see you guys on Varney and Fox Business in about 10 minutes. Well, Coda, obviously, still thinks we are on Christmas vacation. No. I thought this would be kind of obvious, but maybe not. If there is an account that looks like mine, or is my name misspelled, or a fan account, and they are messaging you that they love you, they want to marry you, they want to meet you, it's not me. Nashville. You had the, the tornado, you had floods, you had the pandemic lockdowns, you had riots, and then you have this to end the year. I, but the spirit of Nashville, I am told by my friends who live there, is still strong, no? All right, guys, if you haven't heard already, Profit Star and great man, Marco Simonis is doing a lot for Nashville, helping those small business owners impacted by the Christmas Day bombing. Swipe up, check it out. He's a great man, and we thank him. And if you're up early or out late, I will be on Fox and Friends first tomorrow morning around 5.50 a.m. Eastern, talking about Nashville, talking about Georgia, talking about freedom. So I'll see you then. Lots of great stuff to talk about today. I'll see you on Outnumbered in about a half an hour on Fox News. Thanks to all of you who watched out number today. It was a great day, a great show. Always a pleasure for me to be on. God bless you guys. It's almost the new year. Nashville has been kicked, pushed, punched, and even bombed this year. But you can never take the soul out of Music City. I believe in Nashville, and these are my final thoughts. Around 5.30 a.m. on Christmas morning, downtown Nashville, Tennessee, Well, folks, if you're like me, you're wondering why the hell our hard-earned tax dollars are going to count amberjack fish and fund other countries. Well, you know I have some final thoughts. Why the hell are we, the American taxpayers, footing the bill for Pakistani gender studies, the Egyptian military, or to count amberjack fish? I am utterly horrified so many elected leaders on both sides of the aisle find this acceptable. Congress found plenty of money for foreign countries, lobbyists, and special interests while sending the bare minimum to the American people who need it. It wasn't their fault. It was China's fault, not their fault. Well, here in good old Florida, not a bad view. Not a bad view.